Good morning, good morning. This is Jacqueline Richardson, Jacqueline Dowdy, Deja, uh, Ms. JJ Diamond, Jackie, whatever y'all call me. First, I want to thank God for being alive another day. <clears throat> and I want to send prayers out to DMX from Rough Riders. Um, I don't even care about the weather today. I'm, I'm really pissed off. Um, I'm pissed off at Buffalo, New York for this one. You know, and they need to straighten it out. Um, ASAP. Um, so we're going to talk about this right now and today. Um, because I can't go on today without, um, getting this off my chest based on how I feel, you know, um, whether people know it or not, uh, the Dowdy and Rodriguez name goes a long way, you know, um, especially in New York state. And, um, I'm not going to allow nobody to come and just take our, uh, respect, um, whether it was right or wrong from us when they didn't put no work in, you know, um, and I'm going to break this down to y'all today and hopefully we get to the right people before I have to start writing letters to the governors and the mayors uh, so things can be changed uh, because it, it's not going to go down. I'm not going to allow it to go down. I put too much work in to become the person that I am today uh, for Buffalo, okay, um, to be a model of Buffalo for them to try to hand over what I've done to someone else that put no work in, okay? None. It doesn't sit with me well, okay? So that being said, um, they have a story on on um, the Buffalo News, which the Buffalo News, you know the media, they never get anything right. Um, the, the story is, tr- is, is half true, okay? Um, I wasn't on scene when it happened, so I wasn't shot at um, by the police. Um, yes, the vehicle did belong to me. Um, I bought it, okay? Um, this is why I was called to the police station, okay? For those that don't know the facts, I'm giving you the facts today, here, and now. I was called to the police station, me and Danielle King, which everybody knows her as Charlie. Everybody knows me as Deja, okay? Um, we were in the house with the kids, and I got this call, and that call told me to come to the police station to pick up my vehicle. When I got to um, the station, I was told that a known person had my vehicle, and they did something they wasn't supposed to do. I don't know what they did. I was in the dark. All I did was come to the police station to claim the vehicle. I was arrested. Didn't know that the vehicle was stolen. Got arrested, went to court. I got off on, I needed to have a driver's license because I was driving around with no driver's license. I proved how I bought the vehicle, okay? And I had community service, okay? So the whole story was, it's all wrong. Okay, when it comes to my, my behalf, what happened there, I can't tell y'all because I wasn't there. Okay, however, in this story, they attached 50 Cent to that story. Okay, 50 Cent wasn't there. He didn't put no work in for the city. He didn't even serenade the city. He serenaded a uh, Rochester. Okay, at least Lloyd Banks walked the streets of Buffalo. Okay. He gave us that respect, not 50 Cent. And this is the fourth time I'm telling y'all this. So y'all need to get it right, okay? And if anybody should be up under me, under this story, it should be my son, DeJour Harris, May Heights, okay? Because he was there. He was living in Buffalo at 920 Kissington when this particular thing happened. And he grew up, and now he's an artist. So just because 50 Cent has done big things don't mean he deserved everything. Okay, and it, 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 it has to stop because a lot of people put in a lot of work. Okay, I was the one that uh, uh, worked hard every day to put money into those communities. Okay, to make sure that them kids were safe every Friday and Saturday night, not 50 cent. Okay, I was the one that serenaded the city. I was the one that serenaded DMX when he pulled up at my house. Okay, so Buffalo, y'all are wrong for this. Okay, 50 needs to be removed. That's it. That's all. Okay. And if I have to take it to the governor, the mayor, or whoever else, okay, 
It has to be changed. Y'all give though, give back to those that has given to you. Okay? DMX put businesses in our city, in that city. Okay? He would come and, and, and show love to the city. And I was one of them that he came to show love to. He pulled up with his whole crew at 2924 Bailey Avenue. And, and asked for me. And I came outside and I serenaded him with my dancing. But yeah, I serenaded him. How dare y'all? I feel some kind of way. Now y'all see a picture, um, you know, my, my good friend, I call him my brother because we past friends, even though, you know, we don't talk as much as we used to. Corey, name runs through Buffalo. Okay? Danielle name runs through Buffalo. How do, and they put work in. How dare y'all? Just because this man has made it so big, y'all give things over to him because he's attached to me. I, all I did was make a song with him. I'm not signed with G-Units. 50 hasn't given me no money. Every dollar I made, he made as well. Because we attached an ASCAP as a pro artist. Okay? So, don't take it as, oh, he has helped me. And he has done so much for me. For y'all to hand over our power. The Dowdy Rodriguez and all the other people that ran with us. For them to open up the city. For me to serenade the, the, the city. It's not fair. Buffalo is just not there. When I had when I serenaded the city, they brought the mayor out. So it it, it fifty cent never stood in front of the mayor like I did. Why should his name be attached to mine? It's not fair, Buffalo. And I'm not gonna let this rest. Because I still have family there. They may not see me. I need to take a break because my family is a piece of work. That's why I was sent on to Maryland. Shout out to Angel Williams, even though I dislike her. But anyway, she made sure I got to Maryland. So I was able to change my life and live the life of the person who I'm supposed to be. Not working every day for a city pretty much for free. Giving up everything that I work for. Yeah, y'all let me get away with a lot of things. And I appreciate that. But I put work in to get away with a lot of things. Don't y'all expect me to have been uh, uh, this perfect angel? How? When almost every dollar I had was given back to y'all city. To help y'all people. Every Sunday I would dedicate myself to cooking dinner to feed the community. I put a lot of work in. And ain't no way possible y'all gonna give this to a man that did nothing. I'm not gonna let it happen. So y'all see that I'm very upset this morning, you know, um, and a part of it is because DMX, you know, um, OD, that, that kind of messed with me as well, you know, because we were a family in Buffalo, you know, they was getting their money, I was getting my money, and I got a chance to serenade the city. <laughs> it's not right, Buffalo. Y'all know my uncle, Gene Rodriguez. Yeah, he's been dead for some time. Y'all know my brother, Curtis Dowdy. Y'all know his kids. He has, what, 12, 13 of them that's running through there? And what about the people that was 
in the situation with me. What about them? It's not fair to them either. Did y'all think about that? See, that's what's wrong with the new generation. <laughs> y'all don't think about people's feelings and what people went through and what, 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 what you know, uh, um, the work that they put in. I'm from the field. I put the work in. Me and my people, we put the work in, in the city. That's why when I went out every Saturday night and the Buffalo Bills see me, they gave me the utmost respect and said, rest. Rest, eat. Because everything you have, you give back to the streets of Buffalo. Eat. And this is how y'all do me, Buffalo. Shout out to the Buffalo Bills. Because they knew how hard it was for me. Excuse me, y'all. It just brings tears to my eyes when you put so much work in to help families. And they just give what you what you put in away to somebody else that ain't do nothing. When I moved to Maryland, I was able to work and save money for me. To take care of me and my people, my family. They say, Jackie Daisy, why you don't want to go back to Buffalo? Why? Because then I got to give everything I got and all my energy to the city of Buffalo. Why? For fame? For power? The mayor get a check. The governor get a check. And I ran that city. And they got to sit up in the chair and get paid while I ran that city. And made sure that them kids were safe. That they had meals. From east to west. From north to south. It's not right, Buffalo. And it's not right. And I will not be back to serenade y'all again until y'all get it right. Y'all must get it right and give me what I deserve. I put too much work in in your city. You know, it's sad when people don't know the truth, you know, but those that do know the truth, you know, and they they finally come about and stand up, you know. When I went to New York, when I went back to New York, after I moved for 29, 24, Bailey, I pretty much was sent back to Buffalo. That wasn't my choice. Because they still needed me. But I was tired. I was young. I couldn't even live my own life. I couldn't even have a relationship. 
I couldn't even hold on to a relationship because I had to be out helping. Dedicating my life to a city. You will never know what I went through unless you lived in my shoes. <laughs> and I take nothing away from the residents of Buffalo that stood by me and made sure because not only the Buffalo Bills was there to help, there was other people on the street that was known that had money that would come through and put money in my pocket so these kids and I could do things with these kids and keep them going. So all of them can survive and live lives today. And I watched them on Facebook living their lives. And this is what y'all do to me. Y'all tie somebody to me that don't deserve it. How dare y'all? When we migrated to Canada, who was called to chaperone the kids of Buffalo to Canada? Me, Deja. I was called to chaperone them kids in Buffalo and make sure everybody got back safe. Me. Even though we lost one, God, it's a soul driving a motorcycle. Canada. How dare they? Y'all want the facts, and I'm giving y'all the facts today. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about the life in Buffalo. Because that life in Buffalo hurt me. It destroyed me. Until they released me. To Maryland. And Maryland let me live. It might have been 30 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever, how many years ago. However, I was scarred. Had a bad accident. It's it's still ailing me today. Because I was being forced to buy the house at 2029, 29, 24 Bailey Avenue. I, I, I guess y'all yeah, didn't like that. They didn't like that I had to go to work. So y'all hurt me so I could stay home with the kids. And get to continue to do the duties that y'all asked me to do. To this day, y'all think I don't, I don't think that y'all hurt me on purpose so I couldn't work. I'm suffering from that pain right now as we speak. That pain took me out of the clubs where the people saw me to help give me money. To help me. Okay, I wasn't legal. Y'all didn't tell me I needed to be legal with that. Y'all only said be legal with the cleaning service. So I did what y'all asked of me.
This is not right. It's not right, and I needed to I needed to address it. It's just not right. And um, Buffalo News, y'all need to straighten it out. Google, y'all need to straighten it out. Everything I do, 50 doesn't have to be attached to it because he did not bring me in this industry. And y'all need to understand that. I've been in this industry before him. I just wasn't into music. Heavy. Because I was into music. 94. Wu-Tang. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, DMX, and I—I I known them from when I was a, a little Jackie running in Harlem. Y'all are not going to strip these guys of what they've put in for some some newcomer, and he—I mean, he, he's not new now, but he was new back then. He's an orphan just like the rest of us. And he shall wait his turn. He needs to put work in. Just like the rest of us. He too scared to come walk the cities to put the work in. That's not my fault and that's not my problem. Because I get out there and I put the work in. Nobody gets a free ride. He won't get a free ride off of me. Enough is enough. And I know I turned him up in Buffalo. I know that was a mistake. If I would have known who he really was. I know I made y'all love him. But not enough to turn over all the work and sweat and tears that I put in. To give it over to him. No. Y'all got it twisted. But I put in too much work. Me and my people. And it can't be given to him. Mm -mm. The Dottie and Rodriguez name stands. And being that there's no more Rodriguez is alive, I wasn't going to tell y'all, but I will be changing my name to my original name. I will become a Rodriguez to keep the name going because all of our Rodriguez's are dead. We still have Dowdies though. So I will be changing my name because I can, because I have the paperwork to prove. That I'm originally a Rodriguez. Whatever my family did, that was their business. They did, they gone. But right now, I'm the head. And I get to choose who I want to be. And I want my Rodriguez family name to live on. Now, y'all might have not liked Uncle Gene. Yeah, we know he used to drink and... Him and that wife of his used to act a fool. However, the name must live on. And I'm not going to let some, some, some stranger come through. And when I say he's a stranger, I'm calling him a stranger because he can't even come and, and do right by me. And pull up. How dare y'all. When I get paid over the 50 cent song, 50 cent get paid too. So don't let that get past y'all. This is a, a, a fair, fair thing here. But that don't mean he deserved to get something that me and my people built. 
I don't think so. Alexa, dismiss. Time is 8 a.m. Like I said, if in Charlotte it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. You can expect more of the same today with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. Well, we're going to have a good, a nice day. You know, I had some work that I had to well, that done today, but I had to postpone it um, due to the way I'm feeling inside when I'm feeling uneasy inside. Um... You know, sometimes you have to postpone things because you don't want to do or say the wrong thing. You know, um, sometimes you just got to put stuff aside and wait it out. That's what part of discipline is about. You know, um, but I had to get this off my chest. Mm -mm, no, it, you know. You got to think about the people that put the work in in your city, the people that serenaded your city, the people that put money into your city, the people that brought others to your city. What made Lord Banks feel comfortable enough to walk through our city? Because he heard the stories. How he will be okay walking through our city. And he did. And he returned safe. Like I said, he might not have serenaded it. But he gave us the respect. It means a lot. He went shopping, put money back into the city. Said I might have made just made this money in Rochester, but I'm gonna give it over here to Buffalo. Did y'all think about that? The only reason why I said and you in that song, you don't know me. And I put 50 in there because they all begged me to help 50. Other than that, I wouldn't have done it. And I'm telling y'all again. And to clear it up for the 50th million time, 50 Cent is not my husband. It was to help him get back up after he failed. And he needed the help. And they asked me to help him. Do I deserve what he's doing to me? No. But he don't deserve to get... <laughs> power off of me. Because that's real. The games that he played with y'all, I don't know. That's none of my business. But he will not get the power under me when he, especially when he has not stand in front of me. He hasn't even told me thank you. I haven't even heard it out of his mouth. It's not fair and it's not right. Do y'all see him sharing my stuff? I got a new brain. But who we call on to help him. No, I gotta I gotta do it on my own. 
because he's too busy. I got to put his face on my product because he's too busy. Him and his people was too busy. They too good. But you're not going to live off of my fame. It ends today. I'm sorry. And sometimes we do things in the, in the music industry to help others. Yeah, we do. To help them get up. To help them raise their financial status. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And this thing has been going on too long. Now, I gave 50 the chance to even come and, and, and um, even own a part of the Miss J.J. Diamond brand. Then I could see y'all saying, okay, yeah, we're going to give it to 50. Because he put the work in. He put the money in. He hasn't even done that. It's all me. I sacrificed. For every business that, that, that I have here, I sacrificed. I don't know what he do or how he do things. But in the entertainment business, that's not how we do things. We help each other. I'll tell y'all something. When I was getting ready to release, you know about me, the DMX beat. First, they wouldn't let me, okay? They wouldn't let me put the Rough Rider name on it. I fought to the bitter end. You hear me? I got the kite on the street until DMX found out and did his part so they they respect that name. Y'all hear me? I fight for my people because it's not fair the things that the industry is doing right now. All it took was for me to write one message and that message got to the street and DMX responded. So I can have that be. And his name be on it. So I'm just trying to show y'all the difference between right and wrong. And how this thing really works. I don't know what other people may tell y'all. But this is the facts. People fight demons every single day. We all have our, our issues. Ain't nobody perfect. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. My issue is helping people too much. That's my demon. Because God asked me to work for him. And I chose to work for him. Because I had a chance. I mean, a choice. I could have still been out there with the, the gangsters and, and doing all kind of crazy stuff. But as time go on and you grow. And see, when, once Buffalo found out I was a college student. They embraced me even more. Because they said she had potential. She's level-headed. This is why I gained the respect and the power that I did in, the Buffalo, in Buffalo. Because I was level-headed and I was disciplined. I helped the people. Yeah, I had a lot of haters. But I also had a lot of people that loved me as well.
to those that <laughs> run their mouth, don't know the facts, you need to put the blood of Jesus on your tongue. And stop talking about things that you don't know nothing about. Stop uh, uh, lying about stuff that you know nothing about. Why I don't have some of the money that some of these people have? Because I give it away to help my communities. And for once, I decided to do something for me. And now y'all want to give all my power away. Really, that's how we do things now? When is it you was going to call Miss JJ Entertainment, Rough Riders, and G-Unit to the the stage of Buffalo so we can all put money in our pockets? No, instead, y'all just give it the 50 cents. What about the rest? What about Banks? What about G-Unit? What about DMX and Rough Riders? What about Miss JJ? And her people. Her son that lived in y'all city and went through torture in y'all city. What about him? Did y'all think about that? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all something. For those that don't know, if you're in the entertainment business, it's forever. Yeah, sometimes. <coughs> sometimes you need to take out a break and a rest for yourself. And that's what I did until my son decided that he wanted to be. (coughs) He wanted to be in the music industry. I crossed over to retail. Which was better suit for me. Because I knew how to love people. I knew how to, to, to. Follow directions, be disciplined. So they accepted me in the retail game. Then when y'all see me sharing stuff, you know, and then y'all go to the store and it's 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 off the shelf. <laughs> That's why. Because I'm part of the retail game and they're gonna look at me before they look at anybody else. Sixteen years and strong. They trust my word. Just like the entertainment entertainment business should trust my word. You don't just give over people's power to someone else. You just don't do that. Then we got (coughs) all our major hitters from Buffalo right here in Charlotte. And y'all still giving over my power, their power, to somebody else. It's not just about me. And Charlotte, you can't re-illustrate what happened in Buffalo because y'all keep trying to do that. You can't do that. Just be thankful we're here. Accept our love as it comes, especially mine. Charlotte, y'all have embraced me. It took a while because y'all needed to know if y'all was embracing the right person. And I get it. And y'all, y'all found that out. And y'all know. But you can't keep re- trying to re-illustrate what happened in Buffalo. Because I'm a different person now. Buffalo designed me to be a different person. They wanted me to be a leader. 
They wanted me to continue to show the kids that you can be something. And a lot of the kids that walk through my door every Friday and Saturday night to have their little parties and walk up and down the streets of Buffalo. We may have some that was fall that fell. We have some that might have went to jail. A majority of them, especially my girls, has they are successful. And y'all can't take that from me. Because they show it every single day. They are alive and well. I had to get this off my chest. It was heavy on me, heavy on me. And, you know, and it got even heavier when, when, when this thing went down with DMX because, you know, <laughs> let me tell you something. You know what it feels like? Let me tell, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what it feels like. <laughs> Jay-Z actually started it. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I, I got to go back. You know what it's like for a person to pull up and say, we got tickets for you to go to the Jay-Z show. He wants you there. He needs you there. You know what that feels like? It's an honor. <laughs> Do you know what it feels like for DMX to pull up in his bus? And you in your house doing your normal cleaning or whatever the case may be. I don't know what I was doing. And they come and get me. And they're like, Deja, DMX is outside. He wants to see you. You know what that feels like? A number one artist on the charts at the time. Pull up at your house in his tour bus. <laughs> and stand at the street and wait for you to walk out the door. You know what that feels like? And when I seen him standing there and just staring at the house, staring at the door, I said, um, I got to serenade this man. Turn the music on, y'all. <coughs> I used to ride through Buffalo even before he came. I used to ride through Buffalo every day playing DMX. There was a few artists, Mob D, DMX, 50 Cent. I would jump out my car and dance off of their songs at the light. <laughs> People used to think I was crazy. They they you crazy. She be feeling that music. Yeah. And I would take it to the club. The best feeling in the world for a number one artist to pull up at your home. So I know the choice but to, to serenade him. I know the choice. Put the music on, y'all. We about to dance. Got on top of my band and I started boogieing for him. You know, and then I start asking the streets, why he showed up? Why he showed up? Some people said he showed up because he just opened up his baby mama a hair salon. And I was doing all the girls hair in Buffalo. Some people said he showed up. Because he just wanted to know who Deja was. If Deja was little Jackie from Raheem, he needed to make sure of that. That it was it was little Jackie. 
the same one that lived in Harlem. That little brother died years prior. He needs to make sure. So, you know, I got several different stories. I never ever heard the real story. I would love to hear it from him. Fifty Fifty can't have that. My name ran through Buffalo, good and bad. But I put work in to help the communities, them kids. All the way from Main Street to Genesee. Nobody's going to take that from me. It took a long time for me to learn that city. And shout out to everyone that helped me through it. <laughs> I'll never forget my first cleaning job. The guy came in the store. It's like he knew I was in there. They had already told me that they was going, you know, because I did good on my community service. That they was going to make me the next big cleaning thing in the, in, the, in the city. I'll never forget I was in the store. And the guy said, anybody in here know how to clean? <laughs> I need somebody to clean. You know they set me up for that, right? <laughs> I say, yeah, I do. Why, what you need? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a $200 job. It took me five hours, and I got paid $800. That day, I woke up with nothing in my pocket. But a couple of dollars just to get some eggs and bread. By that evening, I had $800. So they proved to me that what they said they was going to do, they were doing. I scraped shit, excuse my language, off the stairs where dogs had, had pooped. And stepped in it. It was about two, three inches deep. Me and Danielle. Charlie. For those that know, don't know why it's Danielle. Came in there. He said, you did such a beautiful job. They told me he was going to do a beautiful job. And then I looked at him. That's when I knew it was a setup. But it was a good setup. That next morning, I was down at City Hall getting my business license. When you do right by a city, a city gonna do right by you. But not for it to be given away to somebody that didn't put the work in. That's all I'm saying, Buffalo. You sent me to go meet Sugar Ray. Yeah, we know that 50 has a, a boxing license. We know that. And that he could be great and beneficial to y'all city. But y'all don't just get to pick and choose. Because how do y'all know I won't be the one to have a boxing license within the next yeah, if y'all support me the way y'all supposed to. Did y'all think about that? Oh, but because he has experience. Well, I know people that has experience that's actually been in the ring. They may not be big boxers. But they are. 
Y'all read the book? And if y'all didn't, y'all need to read the book, that boxer. It's just not right. Y'all don't know what I'm going to be capable of doing once some of these people get out my way because they don't want to help me. And that's the, the facts of it. So I got to do it on my own. It's not easy doing it on my own. At least when I was in Buffalo, y'all helped me. Charlotte don't help me that much. They're starting to help me a little here. But this has been the biggest battle of my life. Whether y'all know it or not, yeah, everybody keeps saying leave. But I'm giving them a chance, just like I gave Buffalo a chance. Just like I gave New York City a chance. Just like I gave Jacksonville, Florida a chance. Just like I gave Maryland a chance. Hmm. Oh, how did she do that? How is it that she can sell music and she's not a number one artist? Because I put the work in on the ground before I even start making music. People don't forget. Your face don't change. Your name don't change. Even though my name in, in Baltimore, my name was the Frito Girl. <laughs> so they got to see my face and say, oh, that's the Frito Girl. She in the music. We ain't know. We thought she was only retail. Well, I'm still in retail. But I'm not going to allow a person that didn't put no work in, you know. And see, what, what, what 50 needs to do is he needs to come see me. He needs to do like the rest of them, I pull up. So you can let these people know the facts. Because he built nothing over here. He helped. But you, uh, y'all know I got a lot of artists on my, my thing that helped. He's not the only one. Just because I marked him the most. I marked him the most because my... And people kept saying, help them. You helped them back in the day. So help them now. Okay, he, he followed through. You know, he, he got his, um, because y'all didn't even know how many movies the man played in. How he wanted to be in TV. Y'all didn't even know none of that. But because I was a big fan, I knew. So I knew what route to take to get him back to where he needed to be. But did I get a thank you? No. So he gotta, he's the one that's got to rest with that. He's got to sleep with that guilt on him every night. Not me. Because I did my part to help you. But you will not take everything from me. You will not. I'm sorry. It will not go down. Because you don't deserve it. Because you didn't put the work in. <clears throat> and I said again, I was in the field. I dealt with people every single day of my life. From area to area. I would not allow it. So yeah, Google, y'all need to remove his face. You know, even when I pull up my brand, this man is coming up. Like, what? He don't have nothing to do with Miss J.J. Diamond brand. Nothing. He didn't pay for the trademark. None of that. 
So how dare y'all allow this man to live off of me? Oh, because y'all think he lived off of, I lived off of him? No, he's been living off of me and my fame for the last 30 years or whatever it's been. The fame that Buffalo gave me, the fame that DMX gave me, the fame that Jay-Z gave me. The fame that Wu-Tang gave me. That's a lot of fame to be just given over to one man. And he didn't put the work in. You Do you see what you're doing to people and to groups? Because I have ties? And he hasn't even stood before me? Yeah, I, I went to go meet him and, and, and kick it with him. And we didn't even get to kick it that much because it's a fucking answer. Excuse my language. And he can't come forth to me, but you want all of this that these guys built. And, and being that I was attached to them. No, no, no. Mm-mm, no. Mm-mm. Once again, I say right is right and wrong is wrong. How is it possible you think you're going to get all these guys fame and you didn't put no work in? You haven't even came and said, okay, let me help. Let me help. Um, well, He called me Deja. Let me help Deja. You know, um, let's run through Buffalo a little bit. I mean, I'm Baltimore. Uh, I'm everywhere, y'all. Charlotte a little bit. He hasn't even came to run through Charlotte with me. He hasn't even came and sat down to see my products. He hasn't even posted my products on his page. So I'm not totally blaming him. I'm blaming Buffalo for this one. Y'all wrong. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> I just gotta think about the things that y'all do. And and, and I, it's this younger generation. Cause y'all don't know the facts. And instead of coming and knocking on my door, pulling up and say, Hey Miss JJ, can you know I do an interview with you so I can learn about who you really are? But no, y'all rather sneak around and dig here and dig here. And then y'all ain't even getting the real information. Only people know the real information is me and the people that I ran with. It's just not right, Buffalo. It's not right. <clears throat> you know, I'm just trying to deal with this, you know, and and I see one of my fellow colleagues, you know, so stressed. I don't know what's going on in, in DMX life right now. However, you know, I know it's hard right now for everybody to make money in this music industry. Granted, luckily, you know, I, I, I did have... Um, the chance to pick up another profession, and, and, you know, um, and I'm thankful for that because y'all know I went through from being an athlete, being into science, you know, I, I've been through a lot, you know, trying to figure out where I want to be and, and who I wanted to be, but I'm a professional woman. I'm great in customer service. You know, I'm great with dealing with people. That's who I am. So that's why I chose to go and be back into retail. But this, this is something I had wanted anyway before I even got back into the music thing, music side of things. I'm going to say entertainment side of things. You know, there's different levels and 
in entertainment. You know, you have your dancers, you have your DJs, you have your uh, um, producers. I was on a dancing level out there at the clubs. And then I decided to elevate to the music when my son decided he wanted to become a music artist because he couldn't go in by himself. So why let him go in, you know, because I did the music back in the day as well. I just gave it up because dancing became me. That's what built my fame, the dancing. Not the music. So with that being said, you know, I, I was in the music. Back in the day, I recorded one song on a on a on a tape. Some guys, some producers called me up and said, "We we want to tape you." Who are they? I can't even remember who they are. That's how long ago it was. I did the song like they asked me. They tried to get me again. I said no. That's where noodles coming out. Y'all hear me? Shout out noodles. He was trying to get me recorded again. Nah, nah. -uh. I took flight. Because that's not what I wanted to do. But for my kid, yeah, I'll do it. So I did it for my kid. Child I gave birth to. Man, the things that we go through, you know, and people don't realize this entertainment business never stops. You know, it, it just don't stop ever. You take a break. You know, they hit me for a while in Maryland. <coughs> you know, even when they got me out to the club, I didn't even dance. Shout out to Antonio. He's the only one that got me out to the club. <laughs> Everybody else that kept inviting me out to the club, I ignored them. Because I didn't trust them. If you're not in the entertainment business and you're not a DJ, uh, not a DJ, or uh, athlete, because those are the people that I ran with, athletes and entertainment people. If you wasn't one of the two, I wasn't really messing with you like that for real. I may take a liking to one or two people here and there. But for the most part, to hit the streets with you where I feel safe. I know the people at Frito were saying, you know, she never rocks with us. Why? But then as soon as Antonio got on the scene, because he was an athlete, I was willing to mingle with y'all. It was only because of him. And those are the facts. Not that I thought I was better. We have a certain protocol that a regular person may not know. So it has nothing to do with, you know, me thinking I'm better than anybody. That's why I didn't hang out with you guys. Y'all don't know the protocol like an athlete or entertainer may know the protocol. Because y'all not in that lifestyle. If y'all notice, Antonio didn't stay too long. He just wanted to feed me, and we kept it moving. Yeah, I ain't even eat. I said, no, I'm good. We can go. It's a part of just showing your face. You can keep it moving. Unless it's all athletes in the building. It's a protocol we go by once again. You know, so yeah, you know, this is just, this has been my life all my life. You know, people don't know, some people don't know, some people don't respect it because my name in and I've been ringing bells in their city, but best to believe it was ringing bells in other cities. It's like Philly, they just learning to get to know who I was. I was making things shake. 10, 15 years ago before they, they even knew anything about me. Shout out to Meek. I had to run, give him the rundown. 
He know how things go in the city. So he believed that's why he helped. But um, <laughs> not only that, my name, even before, and it's crazy, y'all. My name was in California, and I didn't even know it. All the way from Buffalo in Canada. So you see how the streets move? You see how the ground do? Because people talk. My name went from the ghettos of New York all the way to L.A. That's what made me step foot in L.A. I had no other choice because they knew the name. Shout out to those that did take my name over to L.A. I didn't think I would go that far. I appreciate it. And I'll be back one day, just not now. First, I have to go home. <laughs> I have to get back to New York. And that's the thing, I'm at a standstill. I'm I'm frozen. Y'all thank Charlotte for that. They got what they wanted, though. They got what they wanted. They can actually now say that I own the business here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it's on record. I need them to hurry up, though. But it's on record. You know, sometimes they got to get in where they fit in. <clears throat> you know, and I get it. They want to be on the bandwagon too. And two, because I put work in here too. I put work in Charlotte every day. Every single day I go outside. Not just in my community, other communities too. Y'all hear me always talking about what, what's going on and, 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 and you know, because I be everywhere, just like I was in Buffalo. True. Before the COVID, when we was wearing a mask, I had young boys running up to me, hey, ma, how you doing? And I'm like, well, who are you? Hey, how you doing? In other words, let us know we know you. I'm looking at them like, I don't know y'all though, but hey, I'll show y'all some love. Because I treat people kind. I love the city. I love my city. When I, when I move to a city, I study my city. See what type of people. You know, so the type of people's in the city, try to help them where it's needed. It's not always, always about money, though. You know, sometimes people just need love. And I give it to them, especially the young, the young fellas. Sometimes it's just about needing attention because they don't get it at home. And I give it to them. So, you know, with that being said, that's why my love is building here in Charlotte as well. Because the way I go. Because I put work in in the field. It's real. Okay? 
as well. They can actually say, yeah, we know Miss JJ or we know Jackie. She comes through here all the time. She does this. She works. You know. When I when when I asked for a dollar, she got us. And she got it. If I need something to eat, she got us. If I only need a drink of water, I know she got us. <laughs> Buffalo, y'all just wrong for this one. I had to get it on my chest. I had to. I was feeling very uneasy. I feel a lot better now. You know, I still got some writing to do. I'm going to write Cuomo on this. You know, I'm about to write um, Byron on this. You know, um, I don't know who approved it, but um, whoever approved it needs to be talked to because they need to know the facts. So I'm going to give it about a week before I start writing letters, you know, flipping out on people because they know how I get. But, um... They need to fix it. Enough is enough. Especially when you got a person that don't deserve what you've given them. See, that's the, that's the thing. When a person don't deserve what you've given them. And don't want to respect and show you the same loyalty and love that you're showing them. I'd be different, like I said, if 50 was always around, helping my label on a regular basis. You know, yeah, sometimes he, he mimicked me. You know, that's my mini me. <laughs> that's what I got to call him, my mini me. However, like I said, it'd be different, you know, if he was producing. Being an investor, I wouldn't have nothing to say. Because I say, yeah, okay, I, I might have gave it to him, y'all, but he... He pretty much paid in, y'all. Y'all got to respect that. But he ain't paid in nothing. And I say it again, everything I got, he got. From this music thing, everything I got, he got. We split that. So it ain't no who gave more. If anything, I gave more because my fame came with it. The people that I know that rock with me. But he got to remember, other people was attached to me as well. Other celebrities was attached too. And you can't just push them out the way for one man that didn't even do nothing. You can't do that. It's wrong. Why you think these guys are coming up out the woodworks? And I told 50 that. I told him that. Before we even met, I told him that. 50, this is not something you want to do. Because I asked him to be the face of my company, Private Fred LLC. And to become an investor. I'm going to tell y'all now. Because I ain't tell y'all. Back in 2013, 12. He had his secretary call me to, to send out a proposal by a private friend. Okay? 
LLC to be exact, not Private Friend Incorporated. Private Friend Incorporated is the nonprofit. Private Friend LLC was the actual business that was designed to talk to people going through issues. Like even with, with, with DMX, even before he uh, uh, went through his issues, if that business had stood right now, he could have been one of those uh, that picked up the phone and, and called Private Friend LLC and, and got out whatever the, what was going going on with him. And I asked him, I asked 50 to be the face of that company. Yeah, he didn't know my whole background. He didn't need to know. But I told him it was going to bring people out the woodworks. So you better off leaving me out of it. And let me stay quiet. But no, that's not what he wanted. He wanted everybody to know who Deja was. He ran to the studio, made a song. Invited me out everywhere. Playing video games with my son via internet. I'm going to tell it now. Yeah. Because he thought I was a newcomer. Mm -hmm. Until he found out some things. But then all he knew about was the street things. He ain't know about the, the the celebrities that that came around before he was even thought about for real when he was up and coming on the ground before he went commercial so this is why it bothers me because I told him that this was going to happen But you know, they never listen to me. I'm stupid. But I'm the one that don't drink, don't get high, pray every day, sit here and, and analyze. But I'm stupid. Huh? If that's what y'all want to believe. Yeah, I say I'm crazy too. Yeah, I can act crazy sometimes when people are doing things that's not right. Yeah, I'm going to stick up for myself. That's who I was designed to be. That's why God took me through the challenges that I had to go through so I can learn to stick stick up for myself. If y'all read the Bible, y'all would know they stuck up for themselves too, some of them. I keep trying to tell y'all read that book because those people are just like us. Some of them stories, just like our stories. That's why it's called the Instruction Book of the Life because you can learn how they dealt with their situations you can even change the way they dealt with their situations or do the same thing and see the outcome. Oh. And when my aunt died, Juan Rodriguez, I went into rebellious mode, so I acted out a little bit. I lost the one person that loved me the most when everything went on in my life that I couldn't understand. She was there, 100%. And nobody could take that from me. But I say that to say, when she died, I grieved hard, very hard. I was very rebellious. A lot of people knew it. Deja was acting out. But then I got past it, and they, they was able to see who the real me was. I wasn't a whore. I wasn't a drug addict. I like helping the people because someone helped me and I was able to overcome 
some of the past things that went on in my life. Do y'all know what it's like to be abused? To be tortured? And then have to live everyday life after that? No, you don't. And some may. But I overcame it. That's the thing. I overcame it. With the love of the people. They didn't judge me. They didn't point the finger. They embraced me. And gave me love. That's why I was able to keep going. Yeah, I fell down when my aunt passed away. But I got right back up and got back in line and, and was doing what I was supposed to do. And Buffalo seen that. This is not who she is. This is who she is. So we're going to embrace her. And we're going to try to help her as much as we possibly can. Get through this journey that she's going through. And then they finally let go and said, let her go and live life. That's when I went to Maryland. Shout out to Maryland. Y'all embraced me. You know, my nephew, he asked me, he said, Auntie, how did you change? I just looked at him. How did I change? And I said to him, <laughs> it was always in me. And you have to make the decision on who you really want to be. Do you really want to be this street thug, gangster? Or do you want to be a professional? I chose to go the professional route, which opened many, many doors for me. It's for me to meet many, many people. And this is one of the ch reasons why people give me a chance, because I made a choice. A lot of companies right now, they hate that I'm still into this music, but what they don't understand, once you're in, there's no getting out. There's no getting out. It's there forever. Because somebody's going to always remember. So why should I have to let it go to return to retail? I shouldn't have to. Because they want the full flesh side of me in retail, and I get it. Because y'all have given me so much. And I appreciate that. But the entertainment business was the first business that I was into. So, you know, you got some companies saying to me, oh, you could do both. But then you have some companies saying, no, oh, we don't want you over there. We want you over here. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, they playing tug of war with me right now. You know, they want me in the suits because that's who I, I really am. <laughs> People can tell you on calling. That's from back in the day. I used to wear shoes <laughs> every day. Dresses. I'm coming up in, in elementary school. <laughs> Every day. Everybody walking around with they they uh they sneakers and boots and all this had on shoes. I was designed to be a professional back then. Age 13, 14. Then I got into the sneaker life and you know, I had to change it up a little bit. But for the most part, that's who I was. You know, so you can't make me be something that I'm not. You know, and that's another thing I want to throw out there. And this is, you know, to 50 and anybody else. 
already built my character. Fat or skinny, it doesn't matter. They're going to continue to love me regardless because of my character. Now, if you have issues because you don't want to be around fat people, that's your business. That ain't nothing to do with me. That's your issue. As you know, I'm hearing this is why he don't want to come around because I'm, you know, I'm fat some days. <laughs> but you living off this fat girl's thing. <laughs> I wasn't always fat. Charlotte just wanted to feed me. Because they didn't like the fact that, you know, I was hungry up north. They felt like I was too skinny. I was so skinny that I fell out. They didn't like that. So they wanted me to eat. You need to eat. <laughs> they got this commercial. Um, I was listening to this commercial. It's so funny, y'all. It, it said... Um, my dog feeder thinks that my dog is hungry, so it feeds it when it's supposed when it when it ain't supposed to, or something like that, you know. And I was cracking up every time I hear that commercial because that's like with Charlotte, you know. They was always trying to feed me, you know. I go out there. I was with one of one of my friends who was at the uh, church's chicken. I'll never forget it. And um, we was buying food. And I think she was buying me lunch or something like that. And um, I said, oh, I don't want the biscuit. I said, no, I said, I like biscuits. I'll take a biscuit. But I don't know about that chicken. And then this man was online and he turned around and he looked at me. He said, well, you need the biscuits. Here, give her my biscuits too. She needs the biscuits. <laughs> and I started laughing. I said, what is wrong? Now they want to feed me and fatten me up. Because when I got here, I was real little. I was real little. I was weighing about maybe 1, 155. When I got here to Charlotte, I gained 30 pounds since I've been here. You know, so now I'm fat. And, um, I mean, it's, it's the weight is actually weighing on my body, though. And it's it's kind of tearing me down and making me sick here and there. But I'm working on it, y'all. I'm going to get this weight off and get me back, get me back to who I'm supposed to be. Um, however, yeah, they was, they was feeding me. <laughs> I didn't need to be fed. <laughs> Just like in the commercial. It, the, 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 they was feed the dog, and the dog didn't need to be fed. But every time, you know, the dog feeder pushed out the food, the dog ate. So the dog got fat. Just like me, you know. So when I hear that commercial, I laugh. It reminds me here of Charlotte, you know. I mean, they make a lot of commercials about the things that I do, you know, like one day, well, this was a while ago. You know, I was outside. Every time I start running, I'll sprint, you know. Shout out to QT for that commercial, you know. Um, so, you know, they, they'll mimic me and do different things, you know. And I laugh at it, you know, because they're learning who Deja, Jackie, Miss J.J. Zaman, which is all one person. They're learning who she is, you know, so I could appreciate it, you know. Um, but some of this stuff be funny. You know, and all I could do is laugh. You know, I don't take it personal, you know, because I've been in this industry a long time. So I know some of the things that they could do via media, you know, and, and you know, um, this period. Because my family has always been in the media. Okay, this is not new to me. You know, my family, we was more newspaper. Okay, um, we just start going TV. um Oh, well, we actually went to start going to TV before I left Buffalo, um, media-wise, you know. Um, and at least it was good for me, you know. Um, some of my other family members, theirs were bad, you know, and wind up on TV. But for mine, it was good, you know. Shout out to Buffalo on that, you know. They um, put me on the news for, um, I was driving a school bus, shout out to We Care, and um, something had went down in the city of Buffalo, and they 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 pulled my bus over, and the news team came and came in the bus and talked to the kids and me and you know so shout out to Buffalo for that that you know my family wasn't in the news for something bad, you know and they they you know asked me about you know 
how I'm protecting the kids and different things like that, you know, so I got to appreciate that, you know. Um, but yeah, my family has always been media, you know, it's nothing new to me, you know. Um, that's why when I sit back and I listen to some of the stuff that they talk about with y'all now, like on the radio and on the, you know, it, it, it's not new to me, you know. So I've been going through this thing for years, many, many years. You know, my family has always been in the media from the time that my grandmother was with um, out there uh, fighting Negro um Fighting for you know for the, the Negro League, uh, when my little my little brother died, you know um, some issues criminally that we've been through. You know my family has always been on a high profile, you know to where if something happened they was throwing us in the media, you know and it, it, even if they got to switch the stories up, you know and that's just what they do, you know. Um, so I'm kind of used to that, you know. And it's, it's sad that I, I'm used to it, you know, but that's, this is what the government, I mean, the government, this is what they do to you, you know? So you get to the point where you get cold to it, you know? It hurts, but you get cold to it, you know? Like my mom, she couldn't deal with it. She, she, it, it bothered her so much, <laughs> you know, um, how, you know, our family was just in the media so much. You know, because of the things and the choices that some of our family members made, you know, and, and I'm glad that it's getting better. You know, we we, we, we got better family members now that we're, we're not in the media as much, you know, so I'm thankful for that. We still got one that just won't stop, you know, um, I'm sick of it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um... Shout out to my grandson. He's slowing his his pace, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. You know, trying to stay out the media. You know, um, so I sh- shout out to him for that. You know, but like I said, we still got a couple of family members that just won't stay out the media. You know, they they won't recognize that um, every bad that you do and being at who you are is going to be put in the news. So you need to fall back, you know, and and learn some things and what you're doing to your family, you know. um, But we have turned a new leaf, you know, with the upcoming kids in our family right now. You know, we got some in Buffalo that's been to college, you know. um, We have Nate Heights, he's doing his thing, trying to do his thing with the music, you know, and, and in retail, you know, so... You know, we taking a new leaf now. We don't want to be in the media for bad things no more. We tired. You know, it's making our names look bad. So now it's time to rebuild. We must rebuild. And God has given us that chance. And I'm not going to let nobody take that away from us. Nobody. Well, this is Miss JJ Zaman. Um, y'all know Nate Heist has dropped a new album. Um, they kind of messed up on the album uh, by putting the eight there, so it's hard for it to be pronounced. Uh, however, Alexa pronounces it minute, minute, uh, ever, I believe. I posted it on Facebook, so for those that you know have Alexa, I think that's how you say it. Neha, I mean, Alexa, can you play Min A Era by Nay Heights? Here's midnight. No. Alexa. 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 Can you play new music by Nay Heights? Getting Nay Heights station from iPhone. No, I don't want that. Alexa. I don't want a Nay Heights station. Alexa, pause. Alexa, pause. Can you play Men Era by Nay Heights? I think that's how you say it, y'all. It's on Facebook. Um, matter of fact, let me see if I can I can pull it up right now um, while I'm on record. So y'all can hear how it's pronounced. 
Um, let me see. Okay, this is one of his new songs right here. I'm going to play a little.